there was a study, a classic study that was done at Duke University a few years ago, where they took mice that are uh, lab right, mice that are that have yellow fur, and they have yellow fur because a gene they have called the agouti gene makes them have blonde, have blonde hair, basically. It sounds like a lot of handbags. It's really a bad thing, though, because <laughs> that, that same gene yeah. predisposes them to type 2 diabetes and obesity and cancer. So these mice Not come a good down trade with cancer. Off. Yeah, it's like blonde hair looks nice, but yeah. they get it fat, and they come down with cancer get faster. Fat and get cancer. Yeah, so what these, bad these trade. Um, researchers at Duke did was they took female mice, and they fed them a really high uh, folate diet and B12 uh -huh. three weeks before they got pregnant. And what they found was that the offspring of those agouti mice no longer had yellow fur. They had brown. Uh, huh. And when they looked in their DNA, what they found was that the agouti gene had been silenced. Oh, wow. Methylated. Interesting. Turned off the gene. Huh. So these mice no longer had blonde fur, and they also weren't predisposed to get cancer earlier, and they weren't obese. You know, this high folate diet in the female mouse before, you know, she was impregnated. Right. Turned off that agouti gene in her, in her eggs, actually. Huh. So... It's really kind of cool. There's other things, stress, for example, yeah. inflammation affect methyl groups. So the whole epigenetic field, I'm like on this epigenetic kick right now. I just think it's so amazing. Now, epigenetic, just so I can uh, understand this, but also it's a term I've heard a lot. And epi, as I understand it, is sort of on top of, right? I mean, just like epidural mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, or epidermis. Mm -hmm. um, so, is, so epi is... Epigenetics represents the class of, or the spectrum of factors, exterior factors, behavioral factors that can that can affect your hardware, so to speak, right? Your your genetics, your blueprint, exactly. Yeah. You know, so it's turn them on, turn it's them exact, off. It's exactly exactly like you said. You'll have a methyl group sitting on top of your DNA in this per, really important region where it, you know things need to bind to turn it on, yeah, and it'll stop it. Or you'll have acetylation in a part of your Mostly it's histones, which open up the histone DNA complex and allow stuff to come in. So it kind yeah. of does the opposite. Acetylation usually turns on genes. Huh. So epi, exactly, these things sit on top of your DNA and they turn them on or off just based on this, the, the, the sense that it. other things can't come in. Oh, I see. It's a physical... So the, me so the methyl groups and the acetyl groups would be examples of epigenetics. Exactly. The oh, two well, best known examples. Which can be affected by diet, exercise, etc. Exactly. Affected oh, by see. stress, diet, exercise. Okay, so the epigenetics is not the exercise and diet that can affect A, B, and C itself. It's actually those intermediary groups. Like exactly. Like methyl and acetyl yeah, groups. Yeah, exactly. And the cool thing about epigenetics is that you're you you're they're they're working on this right now so they figured out the human genome now they're trying to figure out the human epigenome yeah so you know there's tons of genes there are patterns of methylation acetylation all these things and what they're finding is that you know this this stuff can actually be passed on to your offspring through the sperm dna through you know egg you know your eggs so well, not your eggs but you know <laughs> don't judge you get it <laughs> you know so it like i'll give you an example there is another study that was published a couple of years ago. Actually, there's been a series of these studies where they take these male mice. Yeah. Um, it's kind of nice to work with males because, you know, then it's not like in utero. It's not something that's happening during yeah. pregnancy. They take these male mice and they feed them a really high inflammatory diet, like corn oil, where they're just getting tons of omega-6 and just yeah. crap. Yeah. And these mice get obese and they get type 2 diabetes. Huh. But what they found is that they have offspring, female offspring, that are skinny. They, they feed their offspring a normal diet so they don't give them much of inflammation type of foods yeah. and these female mice are lean but they get, they get type 1 diabetes and what they found was that in the the father this corn oil diet this inflammatory diet actually turned off a gene in the sperm dna that's involved in the pancreatic islet cell oh, insulin Jesus. production i know wow. isn't that scary well, i mean that's, that's epigenetics wild. is kind of terrifying in the sense where you're like beholden to what your parents did but yeah. they're also you can you can change your yeah, diet better lifestyle. stop drinking those phytoestrogen shakes <laughs> or whatever yeah, yeah. right so wow, so man. that you know the epigenetic factors it's basically you're altering the expression of your genes without actually doing an S, you know any sort of nucleotide change yeah. there's no nucleotide change in the sequence of the dna it's just it's like pimp my, pimp my dna